Hi guys, welcome back to the Stitch and Colourist with Shelley Lewis and welcome to Diamond Wednesday. So today we're going to be working on my skull painting and if you're wondering why I've got a load of stuff currently on it, I will let you know. So, it's alright, I was just checking that while I zoomed in. So what I use to keep my drills in is this plastic container with a funnel so it's easy to transfer drills to and from. I use a needle minder to hold back the cover for when I am diamond painting. My diamond painting pen. Now I have got a variety of these that I use. I use this one that's got an LED light and it looks like I've left it on which the LED light is actually running out but besides that I have been using this one lately with my skull and crossbones so I've got my piece of wax so that is all that I need from that box now I will get the drills out in a minute the reason why I have a book on top of the diamond painting at the minute is to try and flatten the diamonds out because with this painting i don't know if you've got to watch previous videos but the drills as i was pulling them down the sea drills seem to be popping up so i've kept a really really heavy book on top of the painting to try and keep the drills down so this is how far i have actually got with this painting at the minute I only have about a quarter of it left to do. I don't have too much left to do. Still a bit, but not too much. So, the drills. Now, the drills for this, I'm keeping in this big container box here. Now, I have recently got some different containers, if you've got to watch some previous videos that I have preferred using but because I started my diamond painting and the drawers are in here this is where I keep this one so usually just take all the slots out so I'm not forever going in and out the case to get the slots back in so I'm just popping them out there and we can put that to the side now how far I've got, the bit that I'm working on, if I turn you round that way so you can see what I'm working on, I'm working on the bottom corner right here. All this I have to do in black so I do apologise if it is a little bit on the boring side but I thought if you're crafting or doing your, I don't know, housework or if you're on a break from work for It'll be nice just to have a bit of a chat while you're continuing with what you're doing. So if I zoom you in a little bit, you can see what I'm working on as I have a chat to you guys. So I hope you're all keeping well. I'm not too bad myself, I'm okay. I had college last night. It was good. We had a substitute teacher this week because our teacher was on... I don't know whether she was on some sort of training, but I know that she wasn't able to come to the lesson last night. But that's how I've been keeping my drills. And what I usually do as I work on this, because I know sometimes there is that fear of accidentally knocking your drills over sometimes i may put it on there and just work on it other times i do hold it in my hand but the sake of this video i will pop it down now i'll admit with this painting i i nearly to be honest i nearly thought about whether to actually ditch it the reason being is because i started this ages ago as in god i probably started it about a year and a half two years ago the reason why i stopped was because because of the drills mainly because as i was putting drills down other drills seemed to be popping up but i thought you know what i'm gonna persevere with it and i'm gonna carry on with it because with this one for some reason it is square drills I zoom you out a little bit 
it is square drills, but actually that is a round one. So if you do come across anything, because sometimes with your drills you may come across one odd drill that's the odd one out or like a mishap. I'll get that of a container and I'll just put it in there to bin later. So just shake those a bit so they're the right way up. So yeah, I thought I'd persevere with it. Because it just seemed a shame to ditch it from how much was done. And i am tr just been trying my best to just try and keep it flattened out. And it's not doing too bad at the minute. I think it'll be a whole lot better once it's framed. Because what I'm going to do is, when I have finished it, I will get that heavy book that I've been leaving on top of it and I will put that book on top of it for a while before I get it framed. So what has everyone been up to this week so far? So I said uh, Tuesday I was at college last night. This week we've been learning, oh god we've been doing quite a bit actually. Was learning measuring like pie charts. We've been doing bar charts. Um, we're doing lots of other things. I have plenty of homework to do. Put it that way. Of work that I didn't finish in class, so I've brought it home to do so. Sometime this week, I will be doing that. I say sometime this week. I have to do it. So, this is what I mean about these. Sometimes they're really hard to try and stick down. They can be really difficult. But I'm going to get there. As I said, I've got f about a quarter of it left to do. So I will finish it. I cannot remember what seller that I actually bought this from. I'm just going to take my bands off for a minute. Because sometimes my bands keep hitting the table and getting stuck to the actual painting. So, just pop them down. I got my poppy appeal band last week from college. <laughs> so, I always wear that now. This one, that was my dad's. It was when he passed away. That was passed on to me. So I do wear it all the time now. In bed, in the bath, I very rarely take it off. The only time I do take it off now is if I'm like doing this now. So yeah, what is everyone's plans for the week? If you're at work or if you're off work for a week? Um, this morning, I passed up the chance to be on BBC One News. What that was is because it's general elections and... i just take a sip. Because it's general elections, I think it's this week, Thursday... We had, well, last week we had a note to say that Thursday my son's school will be closed because it's used as a polling station. So this morning there was a camera crew at school as we was just taking them into school. And they was interviewing some parents and just as I was coming out I thought, right, I'm going to avoid it for I don't want my best of a morning and... But yeah, I didn't really want to be on camera, but one of the teachers actually collared me <laughs> and she just asked if I wanted to do an interview for the like the camera crew about like the general elections and that and I just said to her, I said to be honest, I don't really follow general elections and I can't stand politics which I can't, if you didn't know that about me, that is a random fact about me now. I hate politics. 
because to be honest i think it's all corrupt the whole lot is so i just try and avoid it but she said don't worry about that she said you don't have to like, obviously talk about politics she said it's just talking about um the about the school being closed and how much of an inconvenience it is and if you have to have childcare and that but to be honest because of my husband is off work at the minute due to his anxiety and depression um i'm not in work at the minute because the simple fact is because my son is in full-time school and my daughter's only part-time i have to do the outside jobs like taking them to school and doing like the shopping and anything else that needs doing that way and because with it being like that no place is going to employ me if i can't get to work till after nine and then i have to go away from work again at 12 I go back at one and I come away from at three. They're not going to accept that. So it is very hard at the minute. I've said when my daughter goes to school full time, it'll be a whole lot better because it'll give me that big gap to be able to get back into work so I can juggle it a bit. I can do work in between school runs and anything else that needs doing outside of school. So I just said to her, I said, it, to be honest, it don't really affect me at the minute because I don't have the childcare. So she accepted that. So yeah, I did pass up the chance of being on BBC One News. You may see me in the background <laughs> walking my son in. But besides that, I thought, nah. Obviously, I really do feel for the people that do have to get childcare because childcare is not cheap it is very very not cheap and i just feel obviously sorry for the parents because it's just the way it goes really so yeah i must admit I'll, to be honest i'll be glad when i get back into a job because i've been off for a while now and i not a kind of a part of me is feeling useless, like I'm not doing enough. And I get people say to me, for goodness sake, of course you're doing enough. They said you're doing things that need doing outside of school, as well as doing things at home. But I don't know, it's all to do with pride, isn't it? So as soon as my daughter goes, starts full time next year, Give me that big gap. So what my plans are to do, because where I live, we have a few caravan, holiday caravan sites, because I live by the sea. So I'm going to go there first and see if I can get a mini job there just to get me back into the swing of things. And because if I could get a job at the caravan sites, it would be brilliant because then I could drop my children off in the morning, go to work, finish at the afternoon and pick my children straight up from finishing work. So I said that it would be absolutely brilliant if I could do that. So I will be trying that. So hopefully they will have some work there. If not, then I'll just have to. I'll just have to try my best to do things. My other option, where I was thinking, is going back on nights because I used to work. I first started off working day shifts at a care home of quite a few years ago now, when I lived back in Wolverhampton, and it was pretty good. It's all right. But most of the time my shifts would go over, especially if there were any hospital visits or emergencies. And then I started going to college to do a social work course. Maybe me, young, I ended up not finishing that. But as well as doing the social work course, I got a part-time cleaning job 
uh, to a place called the Isle in Willing Hall, which is now knocked down. It's been knocked down for a number of years. And besides that, I did a night shift. So I was basically, I'd got two jobs on the go. I was working two jobs and a college course. And it got really just all too much on top of me. So I didn't continue with a college course. Because I was struggling with my English and maths as well. And I ended up did leaving the cleaning job because I could never get into the... Because my main job where I was at the cleaning at the factory was my main job was cleaning the top head offices, like the manager's quarters and things. And even though I didn't mind the cleaning part of it, I quite enjoyed it. We couldn't clean unless they'd left and we only had a couple of hours to do our job and half the time they didn't leave till like 10 to 5 to my finishing. You didn't get paid over time so I couldn't get my job done and then they'd complain that you didn't clean properly. So I ended up leaving that. Went into, actually I'm going into a story here about my working past. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. So yeah, I ended up going full time on nights at the care home I was working in. I think I started doing about three to four nights a week. So I did that for a little, well I did that for quite a while actually. And then I left because of circumstances. And then I ended up going to, I ended up getting a senior night care job at a home that was a little bit further from where I live, but it was walkable. So I ended up going there at a big home and I was just like a normal senior night care assistant. Uh, it was okay, very busy, very stressful. And then a on the top unit, they had like an EMI unit with people that suffered with uh, dementia from the age of late 40s. And the latest age was about 76. And it only had about 10 rooms on that floor. So the job opened up there. So I took it. I loved it. I really did love it and it was busy, yes, it was really, really stressful at times, it could be. Um, but I really did, really did love that job. Um, but then obviously I met my partner now and because he lived in Morecambe already, when I made the big choice to move, I moved up here, so I got myself a clean, no, I got myself a night, just a normal night care job at a home that was literally just down the road from where my husband lived. So it was very handy, it only took me five minutes to walk there. So I got that lined up, I moved, and it was really weird because... When I moved, I was literally, I did a night shift at my old job. The next day, I moved up here. So, I had no time to kind of, I didn't obviously go into the job straight away moving up here because they have to wait for the CRB checks, but I know I'd got the job. So, I moved up here after a night shift then I started work at that care home and again it was very stressful busy but it was all right it was all right it was an okay it was a job that was the main thing it was a job it wasn't like the one that I'd just come from when I was a senior carer you didn't have the stresses of doing medication but it it kind of wasn't the same, if you understand what I mean. It wasn't the same. My old job, where I come from, in Wolverhampton, I had made bonds, I'd made friends. 
with the resident that was on my unit they were they were lovely really really lovely people and when I moved I really really did miss them so it was different in that way but the job that I moved at when I was here just have a sip of coffee I worked there about one year and then I found out I was pregnant and because it took seven years to be able to become pregnant because I didn't think I could have children me and my husband which was my pop, just my fiance at the time had been trying for two years and was about to see about going for IVF um, I fell pregnant and we had a discussion and because I didn't want to risk anything with the pregnancy I was frightened because I, I really did not want to lose this baby especially with how long it took and I didn't know if I could get pregnant again my husband didn't want to risk it so I decided to come out of that job and look for something else while I was pregnant so that's what I did but unfortunately I couldn't find anywhere because not many people want to employ a pregnant lady because obviously she's going to be off maternity. So yeah, couldn't find anything there. I've tried home, like working from home, things like Unique and Body Shop and that. None of it worked. I enjoyed the Unique. I loved it because I love makeup. But... I it didn't work out for me for the simple fact is I lost friends um family yeah won't go into that one um and in the finish I just thought I can't do it anymore because it was actually the whole idea of it was to earn a living while I was off work until I can get back into work proper but I was spending more than I was actually earning. So that didn't work out. The body shop, I enjoyed, it was okay. I liked it, but I didn't love it the same as I loved Unique. Um, and the reason that didn't work out is because obviously you have to meet targets. And I just couldn't meet them. Because not a lot of people were interested in it. So, or they were already Unique present. <laughs> uni there's already body shop presenters themselves so that didn't work out unfortunately so that is a bit of a tough one i did go to get a job at a care home round here which was only like 16 hours a week a big home some of it was assisting residents to hospital or doing the laundry which a laundry i'd love to do a laundry job but then I was I was actually going to go for it. I had my CIB check and it was all ready to go. And then obviously my husband's illness started to get worse. Um, so I couldn't actually take the job because I wouldn't have had anyone to get my children from school or to take them to school. I wouldn't have been able to do stuff at home. Wouldn't be able to assist my husband for doctors or hospital appointments, so I just couldn't do it. So there you go. So not all guys that are out of work are, are by choice, because I know there's a lot of controversy these days with people that are out of work. It's not some a lot of sometimes it's not by choice of being out of work. It's because they have no choice, but. I'll be glad to get back in it. So I really do commend people that are in work as well. But there is reasons behind. Sometimes, like some people, there is genuine, like, they don't work. But there is actually genuine people out there that have genuine reasons why they're not in. But I'll be glad to get in anyway. So we're up to 25 minutes. So all you've seen me do is work on this black <laughs> and chat about work in general. I actually enjoy these sort of videos because 
I enjoy talking to you guys, I really do. Because I'll be honest, most of my friends are online. I have friends, but they're back in the West Midlands, so I don't see them that much. I also have my newfound tribe, which is my stitching retreats. Oh God, I love them. It's like having a weekend with my friends. And I become good friends, uh, lovely friends with a lady called Tish, which has her own, she has her own Facebook channel called Letty's Loot, where she makes jewellery herself. She makes um, needle minders, scissor keeps. They are gorgeous. So I'll leave a link to her Facebook channel in the descriptions below if you want to look at that. But we've become really, really, well, we've become good friends. And it's nice when we meet up at the retreats and have a good chat. So you need friends in your life. You really, really do. Some friends will come and go, some will stay there. But it's one thing you do need in your life and that is friends. So, I'm just going to finish this little line off and then I will say goodbye to you for there. Because we're up to 27 minutes now and I'm not sure how long my memory will last. Hopefully, Friday, I'm due for an upgrade, so hopefully I can get a phone that has a good memory on. So we might be able to do slightly longer videos then. I'm still undecisive about what phone to get. I really want to get a Galaxy S9, but it depends what the monthly price is on it. So... To try. It's what I mean about these gems. They're really, really difficult to try and cram in. But you have to really push these in. So, there we go. I'll just have a sip of my coffee. Mm. Oh, it had gone cold. So, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for today. I know you, you might not have seen a lot of progress because I've just been working in black. Um, but I hope for the sake of the video you've just enjoyed the chat, if not anything else. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. It helps to get my channel seen. And with the restrictions and everything now they're putting on YouTube... It is ridiculous and I could really do without help, to be honest. So, um, if you're not already a subscriber, feel free to press the subscribe button and the notifications when I bring a next video out. My next video, I want to do a either a book review or, or colour and chat. But there is a Happy Mail one I want to do. That's something I recently received. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. And I shall see you again soon. Goodbye for now. Bye.